And we have been talking about few of the advanced rack concepts using Langchain. So uh, we started with one of this one where uh, instead of sending only a user query to retrieve uh, the documents which are relevant to the question, we have what we have done is we have sent the question to LLM for query rewriting and that LLM kind of generated multiple variations of the query and then we retrieved the documents uh, and that we sent to the cross encoder for re-ranking so that the documents with higher relevance will come first and similarly the other documents will be ranked, right? So then slowly we moved into this concept where uh, we talked about like hypothetical document embedding where instead of uh, rewriting the query, what we are generating is we are sending the query to the LLM to come up with a hypothetical answer. Uh, then we are uh, sending the query along with the hypothetical answer to create a hypothetical document embedding. And with that, we will retrieve the context. And based on that, the LLM will uh, generate the answer to for a particular question. Now, in this video, what I wanted to talk about is this multi-representation indexing, right? So in some of the cases, what we do is uh, instead of once we send the query to the vector DB for semantic search, we send back the particular text chunk as an answer uh, to the context. So in some of the cases, what we want is instead of only retrieving the particular text chunk, we want to retrieve the full document, right? So this is one of the way to do it. So what we generally do is we have set of input documents, which are like document one and two. Then what we do is we send these documents to the LLM to create a summary for each of these documents, right? So uh, after the LLM call, it will generate a summary of document one, then it will also generate a summary of document two. So once the summaries are generated, then we will pass it through embedding model and we will create the embeddings for each of these summaries and that we will store in the vector DB, right? So in the vector DB, what we also store is we store a metadata for these documents. So this metadata are nothing but the document IDs for each of these summaries, which in turn is uh, pointing to the main document, right? So we also have a in-memory doc store where we have the document IDs and also we store the full documents in this path, right? So this red section, which you see that has a combination for each of these documents. So the combination, one part of them is the document ID and another part is the full document, which is, uh, which is same as the source document. And we kind of establish a relationship between this vector DB and then this uh, doc store. So once the user comes with a question, then using the summary, it will uh, generate uh, the context for that question. Now, if you want to retrieve the full document that we also can do using this uh, relationship and we can send back the full documents based on this user queries. Right. Now let's see how this is implemented in terms of uh, code. So what we are doing here is in terms of the code, what we will do is we have few of the source documents, which I have used also in case of the process encoder video that we have two text files, which are like uh, text related to Japan industrial growth. And another is a, some re news related to the um, like uh, for a particular player, which is like McIlroy. Right. So these two documents we will read. So we will use this directory loader to read these two documents. Once we read these two documents, we have this uh, docs variable where these two documents are present right in the page content variable or the object, right? So then what we do is we will create a prompt template. This is a summarization prompt template where uh, what we will do is, so we will create summary for each of these documents, right? So you can see like the prompt is summarize the following document in concise and meaningful manner. Then I'm giving the document that I want to summarize. So after that, I'm creating a chain 
where I am using a Lambda function. So this Lambda function will loop through each of the documents uh, that are present in this doc variable. And then one by one, it will pass that document to the summarizer prompt to format uh, the prompt. Then it will pass it to the LLM model. And then we kind of uh, parse it through a string output parser, right? And you can see like I'm using uh, this chain.batch instead of chain.invoke. So this is kind of optimized way to do uh, the LLM call. So where you are sending multiple requests to the LLM and uh, in the behind the scene, it was doing a batch processing and it's creating the summaries for both of these documents or whatever the documents that we are sending as input, right? So after that, we can see like it has generated in this, the summaries in this variable, which is summaries. Then we can check like the individual summaries for each of these two documents. Right. So after that, we will create an embedding model, which we have been using for a long time. That is uh, BG embedding. Um, uh, then we are creating a vector store. So where I am mentioning the collection name as summaries and also passing the embedding uh, embeddings, uh, which I have initialized in this step. Right. So after that, what I am doing is I'm creating an in-memory byte store where uh, we will store the full uh, documents. Right. So there also we have a ID key. So I'm naming that ID key as doc ID. So then I'm creating this multi vector retriever where we are giving reference to the vector store and also this in memory byte store. So this byte store is being also referenced here. And also we are mentioning what is the key that establishes the relation between these two stores, right? So after that, uh, what we are doing is we are creating um, uh, a doc IDs for doc IDs for each of the documents uh, using this U, UID4 doing is we are creating a summary docs where we are fetching the page content, which is nothing but uh, the summaries. So we are looping through this summaries variable and then uh, we are passing this page contents, which is same as the summary for that particular document. Uh, then what we are doing is we are also sending the doc IDs, right, as metadata. So we are adding the metadata, which is nothing but the doc ID for the, that particular document, utilizing the vector store for this retriever and also the doc store, right? So in case of vector store, I am passing this summary docs, which I have created here. And in case of the doc store, what I am passing is uh, the original documents and also the document ID. So we are uh, zipping each of these elements, then creating a combination of the doc IDs and the original document. And then we are storing that to the doc store. And after that, what we can do is we will uh, send a query, like tell me about Japan's industrial growth. So if you want a concise answer for uh, this particular question, what we can do is we can do a, a vector store similarity search, which will retrieve the uh, summary of that particular uh, original document, right? But in, and, and once we retrieve that, we can see like what is the metadata for that particular sub docs, which has been retrieved using this similarity search. We can see the, this is the document ID for that particular uh, summary, right? Then if you want to retrieve the full document, what we can do is we can use this retriever and then call this get relevant documents where we are passing the query and the number of results, then we can like get the full document uh, retrieved using this uh, method, which is using this uh, get re relevant documents. And after that, uh, we can see this is the full document that has been retrieved using this approach. So if you are, if you want to uh, retrieve a concise summary, so you can use the vector store. And if you want to retrieve the full documents, you can call this get relevant documents, which will retrieve the original documents for that particular question. Right. So with this, I hope you got an understanding of this uh, multi-index retrieval process and how we can uh, retrieve full documents instead of uh, like a text chunks, which may not be the requirement for your use case. Right. So with this, I will end this video. See you in the next video.